Hey, what's up guys? Mikey here. Valentine's Day is approaching and I am not ready. For the four of you out there who won't be in a relationship this Valentine's Day, such as myself, the best way to celebrate is to buy a box of chocolates and eat your feelings away. Aha! I knew it! <gasps> I knew you took those chocolates I was going to give to my girlfriend. No, I got these from the Lost and Found. Because I put them there! Oh. Hmm. Should've gone with chocolate bubbles instead. Valentine's Day is the episode where SpongeBob and Sandy try to give Patrick a Valentine's Day gift, but their plans fall apart. This episode aired on February 14, 2000, and is the first and only official Valentine's Day episode of the series. There are other episodes that have love-related plots, but this is the only actual Valentine's Day episode of the series as of Season 12. In my opinion, if an episode is themed around love, but doesn't actually take place on or around Valentine's Day, it doesn't count as an official Valentine's Day episode. Some examples are Episode 72, Crusty Love, and 291, Love that squid. They have love themes, but they don't take place around Valentine's Day like this episode does. So that's why I only consider this a Valentine's Day episode. Because of that, this episode only comes on or around Valentine's Day, and as a result, this is one of the few episodes that rarely airs on TV. I talked about this before, but with digital downloads, subscription services, and DVDs, you can watch it whenever you want, but in my opinion, that almost kind of takes away part of the spirit that comes from watching it, or any other holiday special, around the respective season. But that obviously doesn't make this a bad episode by any means. It's just rare to find on TV. This episode was also the first time to show off Patrick's ferocious side, which is one of the things this episode became known for. It was meant to be a one-off thing, but the people behind the scenes liked it so much, they brought it back in the future. It goes to show how complex and sometimes confusing Patrick's character can be. Of course, with Valentine's Day coming up, let's watch this episode to get in the spirit and see how well it holds up. So the episode starts up and Spongebob comes out of his house with Valentine's Day gifts for everybody. He gives a card to Squidward, which he tears up, a card to Mrs. Puff, who crashes her boat, and a card to Plankton, who's touched. Then he skips over to Sandy's house. Hell uh, yeah, it's a Valentine's Day episode and Sandy's in it. I wonder what'll be in store for all those Spongebob and Sandy shippers out there. Spongebob and Sandy exchange gifts. A heart-shaped acorn with a stick arrow through it from Sandy to Spongebob, and a chocolate heart bubble from Spongebob to Sandy. Spongebob and Sandy go over to a giant chocolate balloon, which is Spongebob's gift to Patrick. Their plan was for Spongebob and Patrick to go to the Valentine's Day Carnival and ride the Ferris wheel, which is when Sandy would then come in with the balloon. We then cut to Patrick. That's it for Spongebob and Sandy? Patrick is making a heart-shaped rock as his gift to Spongebob. When Spongebob comes up behind Patrick and speaks to him, Patrick thinks Spongebob was stuck inside the rock and proceeds to break it down to a pile of gravel to get Spongebob free. When Patrick sees Spongebob was behind him, he gives that pile of gravel to Spongebob as his gift. Never trust anybody that gives you a pile of gravel as a Valentine's Day present. Spongebob tells Patrick about how great and fantabulous his present is, but says it's not ready yet. Patrick just wanted to know what it was and was begging Spongebob to tell him. He then took Patrick to the Valentine's Day Carnival, and Patrick thought that was the gift until Spongebob told him otherwise. Then Spongebob gave Patrick a quarter and told him to buy some cotton candy, which got Patrick even more excited. Sandy walkie talkied Spongebob asking if he was ready, but Spongebob told her not to come in yet. But then there was trouble. Some chocolate eating scallops came straight towards the balloon. Back at the carnival, Patrick kept trying to guess what his present was, but all his guesses were of course wrong. Patrick then thought his gift was not at the carnival and it was on top of Mount Climb Up and Fall Off, so he runs out and then jumps off the mountain. Who the f*** would name a mountain Mount Climb Up and Fall Off? Sandy then calls Spongebob to tell Spongebob about the chocolate eating scallops and that she would be late. Sandy just told Spongebob to take him to the ferris wheel according to plan. Spongebob was starting to get worried, but he proceeded to take Patrick to the ferris wheel anyway. When they were at the top, he told Patrick to look out for it, while Spongebob quietly called Sandy, where things had gotten worse. Then a scowl took a bite out of the balloon, causing the balloon to deflate, 
and Sandy told SpongeBob to go to Plan B, which SpongeBob didn't want to. Patrick starts to go crazy over wanting his gift and shook the whole Ferris wheel until SpongeBob said that a friendly handshake was the big gift. So they shook hands and Patrick was unhappy for the rest of the day. As they went about the carnival, SpongeBob was having fun, but Patrick wasn't happy at all. Later on, he proceeded to talk to SpongeBob about the handshake, but continued to be interrupted by other people coming around to thank SpongeBob for the gifts he got them all. Patrick got more and more furious until he snapped and started going crazy. He rampaged around the carnival, destroying the balloon stand, ripping the heart guy's costume, and tried to destroy a twirl around ride with a heart on top, but he couldn't do that last one. As strong as he is, I don't think any single living organism would be able to do that. Then Patrick stole a heart-shaped lollipop from a kid and cornered Spongebob and some other bikini bottom mines at the end of a pier. Patrick said he would get back at Spongebob for breaking his heart. Spongebob asked if the others deserved it too, but Patrick said they didn't give him anything either. You know, I completely understand where he's coming from, but violence is never the answer. But right as Patrick approached them, Sandy made it towards the carnival after patching up the balloon and taking control of the scallops. Spongebob tried to tell Patrick that the actual present had arrived, but he wouldn't listen to Spongebob or anybody else who kept telling him to turn around. Then he turns around when Sandy says hi to him, and he sees the actual gift and was awestruck and ecstatic. Then Patrick took a bite out of the balloon, causing chocolate to splatter everywhere, and Patrick was now very happy, and the episode ends. Okay, so was the balloon filled with air, or was it just a chocolate bubble? I need to know. So that was Valentine's Day, and I really like this episode. It's great. There are so many awesome moments. Patrick's lines of, Hard on stick must die! And, I defy you, hard man! alone are worth watching this episode. I also like Patrick constantly trying to guess what his gift was, especially the part where he would run up and jump off Mount Climb Up and fall off. When I was a kid and had all that energy, I used to love to imitate this scene and it was my favorite part with Patrick from this episode. The name of that mountain was also so stupid that I loved it. Another memory I have with this episode was 8th grade Spanish. I bet you're thinking, whoa where did this come from? Let me explain. When I took Spanish in 8th grade, the teacher played this episode in Spanish as a way to see how well the class could or couldn't understand what we'd been taught. So she played this episode in Spanish and occasionally stopped to ask us what was going on. I answered most questions, but I still understood what was happening because I'd seen this episode so many times in English, so of course I knew the events in this episode. Of course that has nothing to do with the quality of this episode, it's just something that I remembered about this episode. In terms of popularity among fans, this episode is also beloved by many. During the Ultimate Spongebob Sponge Bash, a celebration of the show's 10th anniversary, there was a section where fans voted on their top 10 favorite episodes, and this episode ended up as number 8. Tom Kenny himself, the voice of Spongebob, praised this episode because he loves how Patrick can instantly channel his Hulk-like anger and mentions Bill Fagerbaki's talent shown in this episode. There's also that nice little scene with Spongebob and Sandy exchanging Valentine's Day gifts for all of those shippers out there. All the quotas are met with this episode. There may not be a ton of moments in between them in this episode, but it's obvious the show is not about romantic moments, let alone between Spongebob and Sandy. As I previously mentioned, I have a soft spot for holiday specials because they really help me get into the holiday spirit. It's a shame this episode only comes on TV the week or so leading up to Valentine's Day because it's a great episode. Back to actual thoughts about the episode, Patrick is so wacky and funny in this episode that he basically steals the show. This episode has some of Patrick's best moments and it's undoubtedly one of the best Patrick episodes throughout the series. The cotton candy guy running from Patrick is also another good chuckle. The paramecium scene is interesting since it has microscopic organisms other than plankton and how they're more realistic looking. Of course live action cutaways are common in Spongebob and it's one of my all time favorite things about the show and this episode is no different. The chocolate eating scallops are a wild species of scallop which don't really appear outside of this episode. While they are kinda neat, this brings me to my next point. When the scallop bit the balloon, air came out of it. When Patrick bit it, chocolate splattered everywhere. It was quite a confusing ending, but I never thought too deep into it when I was young. Now that I am thinking deep into it, I don't know whether it was a balloon or a chocolate bubble. 
But that's my only major nitpick about this episode. It's still really good and I always enjoy watching it whenever February comes around. No matter how anybody may feel about Valentine's Day in real life, this episode is always worth a viewing at that time. Valentine's Day is a great episode and has some of the best Patrick moments throughout the whole show. There may not be much about romantic relationships in it, but it's obvious Spongebob's not about those kinds of topics in the first place. Therefore, it's a nice program to watch at this time of year whether or not you're lonely on Valentine's Day. I also may be out of money, but I did save a piece of chocolate from earlier. Hey, give me that back! Alright, fine. Thank you! I still have one piece, I just can't resist. <laughs>